Hey guys, what's up? My name is the Cool Guy One One One, and today I'm here uh, with the official tutorial of the Razer Synapse 2.0 uh, software. This is the software that comes along um, with that is available for download, and you can make an account as I have here. Um, you can basically store. Uh, you can basically manage um, all of your Razer devices here so as you can see all i have is their keyboard right now um but basically i'm going to be showing you guys a few um hopefully covering everything actually uh so first thing i'm going to start off with this this page here this is basically where you can set reset uh any key to be anything so let's see uh, i'm going to take this m3 click on it left click and i can assign it a number of stuff first of all is a keyboard function which basically could be F, S, backspace, F1, escape, that kind of thing. Second thing could be a mouse function, basically clicking. Uh, so if I were to set, save that, go over here, press that button, it would click over here. Um, next thing would be a macro. I'm going to get to those in a little bit. Launch program, you can basically um, find the .exe file of any program let's say minecraft so let's go down here down down minecraft minecraft.exe and click save. you can also do this with a website you just type in the url mm. so let's try that Boom. And as you can see on my second monitor and AI Explorer to open that. Um yeah, that is very buggy. So um in an explorer, not this one, not this thing. This software is pretty good. And it would launch Minecraft if I did that. But I'm gonna no. Um you could do launch prog uh launch multimedia thing, which basically is like the volumes play pause stuff like that pretty simple or you could disable it which is what i'm gonna do for now um you can also uh create different profiles by clicking that now you have two profiles and whatever profile is stuck that you can edit that name hi but i'm gonna delete that profile because i don't use, really use this too much um you can also copy export or import uh profiles uh export i understand like you could if you want to send a custom profile over to your friend or like over Skype or something, you could do that with export. Import, I guess that makes sense, kind of, if people want to upload their profiles. I don't know. You can also link the program.exe file directly through here. You can also have shortcuts for all of the profiles. So if I press change it to that, I could FN0. There we go. So that's basically all that we have on here. Now we're gonna go lighting. Um, we're gonna do so. It's it basically it's all basically pretty basic stuff. with self-explanatory. If I turn it down to dim, there my keyboard just changed. Normal, bright, or off, or level one. Of course, you can always adjust this uh, using the FN plus F11 or F12 keys, but it's cool to have a, a little slider. Um, you can also set it to pulsate so it just glows dark and bright. Um, switch to all device lighting to off when this display is turned off. Basically, if your computer, uh, if your computer, like uh, if you're gone for let's say half an hour, depending on what you have your power settings set to. Um, and it shuts off the monitor, then it'll shut down the lights also. Give me what you can turn, there's two ways you can do these also. Uh, you can press FN plus F10, or just do this. You can also dis uh, select whether to disable Alt Tab or Alt F4 or Windows Key. Right now I only have Windows Key open because I like these two. 
Next, we're gonna, uh, the last thing we're gonna do is cop is cover macros. Um, so if I, I'm gonna delete this. So if I make a new macro, man, hey, how are you doing? Doing. All right. And we press record. Hey, how are you doing? Why not? And now we can go back here, customize, set this guy to be a macro. Hey, how you doing? Play once, save. Now if we go into a text document, drag it over onto this screen, press that one key, and it will do that. Now I think that is pretty cool if I don't if I do say so for myself. Um, this is a like like I said you can download this off of Razor's website uh, www.razorzone.com. So we're gonna get it officially. I'm sorry if I'm whispering. It's late at night. Um, yeah. I'm pretty sure I covered everything. I did. Uh, so, I'm going to end off this episode here. If you guys enjoyed this, then please leave a like um, and a subscription in the section down below. It really helps me uh, more than you guys can ever imagine. Uh, yeah. Oh, don't don't push that. Turn on. On. Oh, well, I just lost the internet. Yep. Lost internet. I gotta reconnect. Um... So, uh, I'll see you guys later. If you have any questions or problems or things are not going right with your Razor setups, then just ask me. So, again, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like in the comment section. Or leave a like in the subscription in the section below. I'll see you guys there. Bye.